This video is about stupid place names. But some place names aren't stupid. We're on the Kaibab Trail. Kaibab is a Paiute word meaning mountain lying on its side, a descriptor of the Grand Canyon. The alternate trail is called Bright Angel Trail, a name one armed war hero and explorer, John Wesley Powell, gave to the creek below here when he was the first Westerner to explore the Grand Canyon. He initially thought to name it Clear Creek, but decided since he had already named a Dirty Devil Creek, Bright Angel would make a poetic contrast. Whether he pulled the term from Shakespeare or a then popular hymn is not known. And then there's this name here, Tanto. Tanto is Spanish for stupid, dumb, or foolish. Yes? Here we are at the Stupid Trail. The entire area is called the Stupid Plateau, and the rock formations from here down to the Vishnu Schist at the river is called the Stupid Formation. Vishnu Schist, now that's a name you have to say carefully. I talk a bit about how Vishnu was transported from India to the Grand Canyon in another video. There's even a stupid national forest and a stupid national monument. And yes, that was the name of the Lone Ranger sidekick. Probably the name came from the Tanto Apache, a small but federally recognized Apache group in Arizona with an 85-acre reservation and a registered population of 110. There are apologetical explanations for the application of the term Tanto to the tribe, some say the Tanto lived close to the Yavapai and incorporated some of their language into their own, and because they were hard to understand, they were labeled Bine Edine, people without minds by other Apaches. But why would Apaches use a Spanish word? That explanation doesn't work for me. Arizona was originally part of Mexico and did not become part of the U.S. until the mid-1800s, and Spanish was the official language and current sensitivities to minority populations did not always exist. In fact, it's noteworthy that Mexico did not outlaw one human owning another until 1837, and the United States didn't do the same thing until 1865. And to this day, there's still hateful conduct and labeling based on race, ethnicity, religion, or country of origin. I moved to the Southwest as a child more than 50 years ago, and I must admit that I heard my peers using the term dumb Indian. It wasn't in my vocabulary, but it was still out there more than 100 years after the Spanish name was applied to a small tribe in what's now Arizona. In truth, I think the name Tanto Apache was initially applied purposefully and cruelly. Further, I think the word tanto applied without definition in English has a nice tonal quality and is easy to remember. Tanto was probably applied to the landmass, rock group, and trail without inquiry, but also without malice. It's just like Manzanita, the name of a popular rest area on North Kaibab Trail. People use the name frequently, but how many know it means little apple? Not many, but does it really matter? So we have this name that literally means stupid and remains so to this day in Spanish. So what do we do with it? Do we accept it as a term of times past, kind of like the statues of heroes of the Confederacy? Do we change it as the park did with Indian Garden, recently renamed Havasupai Garden, or do we redefine it? Some who wish to redefine the name say it means you would have to be crazy to live in the rugged land of the Tanto Apache, so therefore the name means wild ones. I mean word meanings change over time. Gay used to mean cheerful. To say, I woke up this morning feeling gay would have a completely different meaning in 1924 than it does in 2024. My grandmother, who was born in the 1800s, without malice used the term deaf and dumb to refer to people we might now call users of sign language. So perhaps the easiest way to deal with this dumb place name is to say it means wild and rugged. We're at the wild and rugged trail on the wild and rugged plateau and looking at the wild and rugged rock group. Alternatively, we could just say some place names are dumb, literally. What do you think? And thank you for watching. By the, uh, by the way, what does, what does chemosavi mean? <laughs> and why did he uh, finally leave? Didn't find out what chemosabi. Well, that would do it, yes. <laughs>